everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i want to talk to you guys about the importance of self-awareness as it relates to manifestation let's get started all right so what inspired this video is i took a test and it's like one of those not really a skills test, but one of those tests that you take to help to get a better understanding of what you like or what, what you would be good at or basically like what can assist you on your path, whether it's career or um, extracurricular or whatever, whatever the case might be. And so I took this quiz and it's based on, the quiz comes from an author her name is Gretchen Rubin and she has this book called The Four Tendencies and in this book she basically talks about how people respond to meeting inner expectations and outer expectations and she refers to outer expectations as things such as obeying traffic laws meeting work deadlines um anything that is sort of outside of you that is required to do meeting outer ex as meeting outer expectations and she refers to meeting inner expectations as things like new year's resolutions or saying you want to join a gym basically whatever you want to do that's for yourself that really has nothing to do with anyone else and so when i took this test there are four different tendency types there's the obliger um the upholder the rebel and there's one other that I can't remember right now. But I encourage you to take it because taking this quiz helped me to gain more clarity and self-awareness about how I reach my goals and how I'm able to manifest things. And when I took the quiz, I came out as the obliger. And basically, an obliger is someone who resists meeting inner expectations but is really good at meeting outer expectations so things like coming into work on time turning in papers or class you know coming to class on time um taking care like the best care of your children or your partner or your spouse whatever and i think um parents or people in a relationship maybe can really relate to this because i think sometimes i definitely fall guilty of um so burnt out because I'm taking care of everyone else and not showing myself the care that I need, the self-care that I need. And so taking this quiz really opened my eyes to that because it also, not only does it tell you what your tendency type is, but also what systems can help you to improve yourself based on the type that you come out as when you take the test. So... One of the things that I thought was really interesting, and I'm going to read it to you guys, let me pull it up really quick, is that with the obliger, it says something that they always say is, why do I always make time for other people's priorities at the expense of my own? And here she's saying, um, it's better explained as having the need for accountability and I thought that was very powerful because I remember and you guys I always reference this on my channel that when I started working with a life coach my life changed and the biggest reason that it changed is because of accountability we had daily interactions so I had things that I was working on and then I had to provide a daily report on how I was moving on those things. So having that outer expectation really pushed me to meet my inner expectations because they were connected. And that's so powerful because when I started to look back and think about all the other things that I was successful at doing as it related to my inner expectations it had to do with some sort of external accountability for example when I joined the track team at my high school I did it because like I will always race the kids on my street and I will win so when I joined the track team <laughs> when I joined track I had coaches and teammates that held me accountable like why weren't, why weren't you at practice or you know being there and going actually going to practice and doing the work is what helped me to improve myself and i was able to succeed at that because i had that external accountability and also really in school i had the inner 
um, expectation of doing really well. And so that outer expectation of having deadlines for papers and homework is what helped me to meet my inner expectation um, because of the outer expectation of the teacher collecting the papers or, you know, the students in my pro in my group to meeting the requirements on my end of the projects that we worked on. So I started thinking about after I took this quiz, all the different things that led up to the things that were important to me and having success in them. And it always came down to accountability. So I just want to share this with you guys. I actually um, took the quiz. I haven't read the book, but I did take the quiz and it was inspired by one of the YouTubers that I watch. Her name is Michelle B. And um, that's where I got the idea to take the quiz. And I really benefited from it. So I'm gonna put a link in the description below so you guys can take that quiz. And let me know down below what results you get when you take it. Are you an obliger like me? Do you need that external accountability? Are you an upholder where it's easy for you to meet outer and inner expectations? Or whatever results that you get, share with me down in the comments below. And if there are any other types of tests or quizzes that you want me to take, that you've taken, that you feel have been beneficial for you, let me know down in the comments below. Oh, why does this relate to manifestation? Well, like I said, when I started working with my life coach, I really started to see how some of the beliefs that I had were limiting beliefs and how I needed to reprogram my subconscious mind so that I could begin manifesting the things that I wanted to see in my reality. And so having the self-awareness that external accountability is an important role for me personally, is what made me realize I need to invest in myself. And by investing in myself, I need to have someone else hold me accountable. And by having someone else hold me accountable, I was able to stick to my affirmations. I was able to stick to the budgets that I was creating. I was able to stick to all of these different things that I was able to see come into fruition. Not just with my life coach, but also with my partner and with family members. Anytime I had some sort of external accountability, I was able to man manifest amazing things. For example, I'll give one more example before I go. If you all haven't seen how I manifested my trip abroad to Madrid, um, I was able to study abroad through my university. And the reason why I was able to do that is because the external accountability came from the counselors there who were saying, okay, you need to submit this form. You need to go get this form. You need to apply for this visa. You have to, all of these things require external accountability. And really that was the biggest thing because in the beginning I was like, I really want to go abroad, but I wasn't meeting deadlines and that's why I didn't go at the time I wanted to. But when I really took it seriously and realized that I was running to do it, running out of time to do it um, in a way that I wanted to do it in the school setting, that's when I really had that fire lit. And that's when um, I push myself to go into different events where people talked about their experiences abroad so that I could be held accountable by several different people, my teachers, my peers, and the counselors there who were helping us with that process. So I didn't want to make this video super long at all. I hope that this was helpful to you. Let me know for sure down below if you took the quiz, the results you got, and if you feel they fit you. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more manifestation uploads. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you on my next one. Bye.